Hi there, my name is Isaac Oster and I'm a character artist at Certain Affinity located in Austin, Texas. I wanted to uh, share this neat new tool that I've been using, uh, me and some of my uh, fellow artists at Certain Affinity, it's called Fusion 360 and it is a CAD tool, uh, which might not normally seem all that appealing, but it is uh, incredibly powerful, flexible, and easy to learn, and uh, it's really kind of taken uh, taken my workflow uh, in a completely different direction. Uh, so I've got a couple of examples here of models that I built using Fusion that I just kind of want to show you. So I have a, an old school kind of uh, Dragunov Russian sniper rifle and, and a pistol here and uh, I'll show you what the uh, the resulting geometry looks like. Here is the pistol after I, I ran it through uh, you know the, the, a normal low poly workflow. So you can see the geometry is is pretty clean. It bakes fairly well. You've, you've got to do a little uh, a little magic to it, but it's not a big deal. Uh, and the the amount of time that you save working in Fusion, uh, may, you, you still you still come out way ahead. So here is the pistol, and over, over here I've got the uh, that same rifle. And these are uh, presented here in Marmoset Viewer, which is also pretty cool if you're unfamiliar with it. But uh, one of the things that that Fusion uh, offers that you don't you don't really get with a, a destructive package like ZBrush is any of these operations, any of these little fillets or chamfers or combinations, uh, all of that stuff is, is completely editable throughout the entire modeling process. So for instance, I can come back in and, I mean obviously this is the real-time model, but if I were looking at the, uh, the Fusion model, if I wanted to change the thickness of this tube after all of this stuff had been crashed in, you can imagine if this was like something in DynaMesh, you would just have to basically make a new tube and, and kind of uh, colli uh, collide everything and hope for the best. I can change the, uh, the diameter of this tube, I can change the placement of this hole, I can change the width of this cut, I can change the radius of this intersection here. I mean, it's just super flexible and, and because of the way the geometry is constructed, there isn't any edge flow to worry about. It's, it's, uh, it's a little hard to get your head around if you're uh, sort of a, uh, used to doing um, uh, poly modeling. But uh, yeah, Fusion, totally awesome. So what I have done is, let me hop back over to Fusion here, is I've created a series of tutorials. There are about eight introductory tutorials, uh, and then there is a demo. What I discovered is the eight introductory tutorials don't quite cover enough kind of workflow and strategy type issues. So I went ahead and modeled a knife, um, and all of this is available to you for free. Uh, just uh, because I think this is awesome and I'm excited to, uh, like I said, share the good news. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial series and I'm looking forward to, to seeing your work.